Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node.js, we will talk about events and event emitter. First of all, we will discuss uh, what are the events and what are the events emitter. Then we will make example for uh, events and event emitter and we will learn that how we can call them, how we can event, uh, emit, emit them and all. And at the last, we will cover some important interview questions also. So let's uh, start with the first point. What are the events? Event simply means a kind of signal. And on the behalf of this signal, we basically call some function or some specific code. For example, in uh, HTML, whenever we are just clicking on a button, we are just sending a signal to the JavaScript that we want to call some uh, function or we want to call some specific code. Right. But in Node.js, we don't have buttons and mouse events and all. Right. So how we can just make the events with the help of event emitter event emitter simply means. Uh, so let's understand the meaning of emitter emitter simply means that something that actually produce or uh, you can say that uh, generate any kind of noise or any signal or something. Right. So uh, here what we will emit here. So event emit emitter basically uh, generate a event. And that can be just uh, call a function or execute a specific code in our node.js. So now let's see how it's actually properly work. So first of all to just uh, make example I am just uh, making two or three APIs. It will just take uh, I guess max to max one minute. So let me take a const express and let's uh, load this express. And then I am just calling a one more module, which is inbuilt module uh, events. And uh, let me just again require events here. And with within these two lines, you should have a question that why we are just put here this express with completely small words and uh, event emitter with the, starting with the capital word. The reason is event emitter basically a class and whenever we are using a class or we are denoting class our first letter should be capital right. So now let's just make an object of event emitter. So I'm just putting here events is uh, event emitter and as I told you this is a object. This is a class. So let's create an object with the new keyword. After that, let me just take a app from express like this. Right now, let's uh, just create a route app dot get and let me just call it on a root. And as we know that we have a two function here. First is require uh, request and second is response. And I am just sending here response dot send base basic API or something right and after that I am just creating us two more small APIs the same code like uh, update and uh, search or something right and we can just say that search API and update API or something and now at the last let me just uh, use a listener to just up our server and our server should be run on 5000 port. Now I can run it over the terminal. Let me open the terminal and let's run the node moon. And now you will find that this is actually working. And you can see that basic API and uh, update API. And here you can see that search API. Actually, I already created the uh, postman uh, uh, methods for that so that we can save the time uh, 5000 and uh, update and here you can see that search all these three APIs are basically set. So now what do you actually want that you want to count your uh, API request right. So how could, could you count there can be lots of way but one and which, which is a better way is the events. So let's say I just want to call a event from here. So what it event will do, it will count the request of our API, 
right so how we can just generate event or you can say that how we can generate a signal for that let's simply put here um, events or I would like to put here event actually because we are just calling it up one at a time so event dot emit and this function will basically event a function uh, event basically call a event from here so let me just add here a count API request so this is my function name I want to call this function on that uh, you can say that recall right so how I can just do that just simply put here this function and it will work but there is another way whenever we are just uh, want to listen it that is we can just simply put here event dot on and now we can just simply call this event like this right and there will be a second parameter in this event dot on function which will be the any code or any logic that we want to implement so for a moment I just want to make a console dot log let's say event called like this right so now whenever I will just run this you will find that on a console uh, there is a no console because we just uh, call this event on the root right so whenever I am just sending it you can see that this event is basically called right so the same way uh, let me try to just count the our total api request so let me just take a let count is basically zero and now what i'm doing here count plus plus it will just increase by one and we can just say that api request count is and uh, now I can just simply put here count like this with the plus sign and now I am just clicking it one time and you will find that we are getting here one so I'm just um, hitting over two time also and now it should be three here you can see that this is working fine so we can just um, call this event from update also and uh, from uh, you can say that search also now you will find that I uh, it, first of all after refresh it will just start from the zero so I am just counting here three one API call two API call and three API call I call three of these API once time so here you can see that we got the three three and if I am just calling it three times single API one two three and four or, uh, let's say many time here you can see that we are clicking it on so it will just count all these counts right so with that way we can just collect the count and if you want to save this in the database then you can just write your logic here so this is the how we can basically generate or emit, emit a event and how we can just uh, handle this event so that's all for this video i hope you just get to know how we can use event event and event emitter in node.js so the question can be asked which is very simple that uh, how you can just apply a on click event in node.js the answer is no we cannot call any on click event in node.js uh, whenever we want to just uh, call this that time we just uh, need to just uh, define a click button in the html and we can interact with the node just through the api only thank you so much for watching this video